guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny, my channel's B and Penny B. First of all, I've got to apologise to all my loyal, lovely subscribers and followers and watchers. Um, I haven't been on for well over a week. Truth be told, guys, I haven't felt like it. This has always been a hobby for me, although I am desperate to get to 2000, or a bit of obviously. It's always been a hobby to me and I upload and film when I can and when I feel up to it. I do suffer with chronic illness. Um, I've got osteoarthritis pretty badly and I've also got fibromyalgia. And I do suffer, guys. You see a happy, smiling, bubbly face on here, but I do suffer. And that's what's happened. That's why I've taken like a week away from the camera. As you can see, I've got dark circles under the eyes and I just generally look how I feel, to be honest. So apologies for this. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. Um, yeah, I've just had one thing going on after another and any stress or anything like that, it just brings on a fibro attack or a flare, um, as they're called. Um, I've just come back from the garage, actually. The car's been ongoing still. The garage we were using said that you know he couldn't find anything wrong and told us to use this different type of petrol um basically fobbed us off so we took it to another garage um a little bit further away from us and the guy instantly when i told him the problems instantly yeah that's your coil pack and your plugs I was like, well, how do you know that without testing the car? He said, from what you've told me, he said, and I'm a mechanic. He said, who'd you go to? So I told him, he said, well, I've never heard of him. Well, surely all mechanics have heard of each other. I don't know. I mean, I'm not in that circle. But yeah, he said, um, bring it in tomorrow, which was today. He said, I'll sort it out for you. So I took it down this morning and we've just come back now. And he's done the... He changed the air filter for me because we'd bought it anyway and I couldn't get the screws off. Um, they were rusted. I just couldn't get into it. Although I said I was going to do it myself. Easy job. I mean, you just take the cap off, take the old filter out and put the new filter in. Um, so that's done and I can rest easy now that's done. But the coils and the um, the plugs, I couldn't have done that, guys. I mean, I'm no mechanic. Um, although I do like to have a tinker. He's done it, he's sorted, and the drive home was a lot smoother. So, fingers crossed now, guys, so that's it. I've booked in for my MOT at the end of the month. Hopefully, it'll fly through that. I've had enough blooming work done on the thing. So, yeah, that's been happening. Um, a few other little things behind the scenes. Nothing to worry about, guys. It's just, you know, things that have been going on here. So while I was out today waiting for the car to be done, I went shopping. So I've got two bagfuls of Poundland stuff. And I've also, over the course of the last two weeks, I've been collecting some charity shop stuff. So if there's time at the end of this video, I'll lump them all together. And if there's not, I'll do two separate hauls. It should be able to like all be lumped together because they've eaten a lot of either, to be honest with you. So anyway, let's get on with Poundland. They've upped their game, guys. They really have upped their game. They've got some beautiful kitchen stuff in now and homeware and throws and cushions and all stuff. I mean, it was lush. It was really nice being in there. Um, I'm not really an ornament person, but they had lovely ornaments. They had lovely things for Easter. Um, yeah, lush. So I had a good old look in there. And um, I've come away with some essentials, but also some other bits. So I bought this little, this little spring bouquet. Now it's got some eucalyptus, some mini sunflowers. And I think that's called status. I don't know. But yeah, it's only a little bunch, guys, and it's wrapped in this um, brown paper. I'm going to take the paper off, I'm going to cut it down, and I'm going to put it in this little vase. And I thought, in the little vase, minus the paper, obviously, that would look really pretty upon the mantelpiece. Now, the reason behind me buying it is, you all know now that, you know, my mum and dad have passed, and yeah, I can't buy my mum anything for Mother's Day. So, 
they're only cheap and cheerful guys but i wanted to put something up for her really so i got a little bouquet of bright fresh flowers she used to like sunflowers as do i little vase she always loved green and i picked up these to go either side i'm gonna take the ribbon off the neck guys and i'll tell you the prices now in a minute i bought these two little bunnies to go either side so i thought that that would look really nice sort of the vase and then the two bunnies so i'll tell you the prices the little vase was one pound 25 the little bunnies were i think they were a pound guys yeah they were a pound and the little bouquet was two pound so two three four so that's like five pounds that little display there and my mum always always loved these and they were two pound fifty so i'm gonna have them in memory of her so obviously i can't give them to her miss my mum dearly guys but yeah i can't buy her anything i can't give her anything obviously so her favorite little treats because she loved them um, and a little a little display just something to to say happy mother's day to my mum and of course then it'll stay up for easter right moving on my wooden spoons that had it so i bought three wooden spoons for 60 pence each i think they were 60 pence yeah 60 pence each. Poundland now are doing these little stickers as well. And they tell you the price, not only in British, in pounds, they got euros and then all manner of other countries from around the world. Russia, Romania, Czechoslovakia, loads of different places. So yeah, three of those 60 pence each. I bought some Colgate Max White, but the purple toothpaste, I really like it. And it really does. It feels lovely and fresh, obviously, but I see a difference using that to the whiteness of my teeth. So I think that was two pounds. I got some of these tasty sticks for the cats. I got three packets of those. They were a pound each. They're their bedtime treats. <laughs> I swear my animals know the time. 10 o'clock every night <laughs> they all line up they all know they either line up or they go to the cupboard and tap it well the dogs do but um yeah the cats they know the time so while i was getting them i also got she knows the cat is sat in the window by there one of them where's the other one i don't know where the other one's gone she sat in the window and because i pulled them out she knows what they look like her ears are like perked up and she's looking at me <laughs> So I got a couple of packs of these for the dogs. I thought I'd give these a go again. Oh, the, the dog treats were a pound as well. Uh, no, one twenty-five or three for three pounds. So I got the three. The braces, Welsh cakes. Um, I can't remember how much they were. Only cheap. I stopped buying them because they stopped putting jam in them. They were well, they put jam in them, but it's such a scraping. It made them really dry. But as you can see, or you might be able to see, can you see the jam? So I think that they've taken note of people not buying them <laughs> and started filling them with jam again. And um, yeah, I really like them when they've got the filling. Without it, though. Then I bought a new spatula, a plastic one um because my other one broke that was one pound fifty this is the name of the new cookware in poundland is peter cook and yeah they had some really really nice stuff if you've got a poundland near you go and have a look and then in this bag then i just picked up a few more boxes of this uh ny coffee the salted caramel because we have been out of this for well over a week and i like it guys so yeah well, you all know I like it. So I, I bought a few more packets. At the minute, I'm loving um, chai latte. It's gorgeous. Now, I bought a tin of it. It's called Drink Me Chai. Um, and it's in a like a red tin. I bought it in Sainsbury's. 
um, for £3.50. And that was really good value because it's lasted ages. There's still some in the tin. Um, when I went to Poundland earlier, they had the same tin for the same price. So I didn't buy any because I've still got some left in the tin. And I don't drink it as often as I would the caramel latte. But yeah, it's nice to know that I can get it in Poundland if Sainsbury's are out of it. So that was the one bag. I'll get the other bag now. So I got some foil containers. I got an eight pack. They were 150. Just for like, if there's food left over, put it in one of these with the lids on, put it in the fridge. Or if I batch cook or whatever. It's another one of those dog treats. I bought some heat pads. If you know, you know. I bought some fruity raspberry shower gel. I think that was a pound. The heat pads were a pound. I bought some Fabulosa room and fabric freshener in mango peach. I think that was one twenty-five. And I bought a Febreze Air Mist Spring Awakening. I live Lino Spring Awakening. It's the only one I use. And I saw this and I thought I would buy that as well. I think this was 175 Yeah. It smells just like the fabric freshener. Like that. I bought some Huggies water wipes. And I bought a tin of multi-purpose spray paint in white matte finish. I think this was £3. And, and just basically... Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to go around spraying little areas that need touch-ups. Because I can't be bothered getting out a tin of paint and a brush. This is going to be easier. Just a few little jobs that just need a bit of a touch-up. So that's what that's for. So that was my plan, plan all, guys. Nothing majorly exciting, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. And we're on 12 minutes. Um, do I add on the charity shop or do I end it here? Do you know what? I think I'll add on the charity shop because I haven't uploaded for over a week. So let's treat you and do an extra long video. Two seconds. So, oh, out of breath now, going to get it all. The first thing I got was this stack of magazines. They've been in the shop for so long, they wanted £20 for them. I've got the little tag here somewhere that came off them. They wanted £20 for them. I've been looking at them for weeks and weeks and I said, there's no way I'm paying £20 for a stack of magazines, as much as I like Formula One. On the back, it says each magazine would have been £10. I don't believe that from a minute. Mm -hmm. Who would pay £10 for? They would have been. Oh, how would you just say? And they would have been. Yeah. Hang on a minute, guys. Do you want me to stop? Yeah. He's just brought me a coffee. So he said, yes, they would have been £10 each. So asking £20 for the law, I guess that was good. But I wasn't paying that, guys. And... I've been looking at him every time we went in. It's been in there ages and ages. How long would you say, Hal? A couple of months, isn't it? We've seen a couple of months. I said a couple of weeks. It's been a long time. And um, I said to the lady, Oh, Luna, <laughs> get off. <laughs> get off. <laughs> you smell of outside. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy outside? <laughs> So I said to her, if um, you ever decide you're going to reduce those, keep them for me and um, I'll have them. So she asked me how much I'd want to pay. And I said, not 20. I said, give you a tenner. So she said, go on then. So I had all of them guys for a tenner. And I was just said they would have cost a tenner each. I've got nearly a full set of magazines. I'm going to count how many are here. I should have done this before coming on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hang on. <laughs> I'm on twelve. 
So I've got 44 magazines. I think the set would have been 50 because I've got up to 49 and it starts at number three. I'm just missing a few in and out. So yeah, 50 magazines, it would have been like 500 quid. Somebody has paid that guys as a collector. And I got them for a tenner. So yeah, you may not even be into Formula One, but there's so many. You've got like a modern one, you've got them back from, oh, I can't even show you like that. James, anyway, huh? James, huh? James Hunt. Yeah. Name? So we've got Lewis Hamilton, we've got Nigel Mansell, we got, I don't know who that is. We got Michael Schumacher, Aiden Senna, Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel, Jackie Stewart, that's an old one, Lewis Hamilton again, um, Michael Schumacher, they go right back as well. We got Jim Clark. Look at that old one. The cars have really come on. So, yeah, so many different drivers and different cars throughout the years. So I'm really, really happy with these guys. And I am going to sit and read every single one. It's going to take me a while, but I'm going to do it. So that to me, I know it was only a tenner, but that was a real investment. I love Formula One, as I've mentioned many times. Right, now on to the other stuff. I picked it up and I spotted this from a distance. And because not only is it red, Holly Hobby, guys, who remembers Holly Hobby? I thought it was lush. So, yeah, I was having that. Again, it was marked at a 10. I said, I'm not paying 10. I had it for five. Red inside. You can see it's vintage because it's all faded by the, by the sun. And, but it's in really good nick. It's even got a needle in there. Really good nick. So, yeah, really, really happy. I'm going to transfer all my sewing stuff from my other sewing box. going to get rid of that. And this is my new one. Happy as Larry. I think it's lush. It don't take much to please me, guys. I am a woman of simple tastes. <laughs> Love it. Right. I picked up some wool. I picked up some rainbow coloured wool. Then I got a green, a purple and a pink. The ties in with the colours that's in the rainbow wool. A pound. And these two magazines, Knitting and Crochet, these were 50 pence each. I can't crochet, but I can knit. Well, I used to be able to knit. I haven't tried for years. So I'm going to um, knit some of these patterns and I'm going to have a look and see if I can pick up the crochet again. I used to be able to do basic crochet, like in lines, but yeah. I think that was like double crochet. I don't know. But I haven't done it for years and years and years. And I can't even remember how to do it. So my aim is to learn how to do granny squares and make myself a, a jumper or something or a cardigan in granny squares because I love that sort of boho sort of look, you know. So there was that. Look at this, guys. Now this was £3.50. Brand new, look at the shine on it, enamel calendar. Now, my plastic one has seen better days and plastic harbors germs anyway. So, ever so happy with this. Love it. Yeah, that's brand new. You can see that I haven't been used. Absolutely love it. Pardon me, and I thought 350 was a really good price. Oh, I've already got a flower pressing kit, but I found this and it was a pound. It was a pound, wasn't it? It was when you had all that, mm. yeah, all that stuff together. Because um, I had a load of stuff for two pounds together, didn't I? So, yeah, it was a dryad, which is actually vintage now. I've looked it up and you can't get it. <laughs> it's vintage. So I don't know whether to keep it or sell it on. I really, really like the fact that it comes with mounts envelopes cards 
and everything you need really. It's a horse, is it? Well, mounts. <laughs> so it's got the flower press, it's got absorbents and co corrugated papers, greetings cards and envelopes, adhesive, flower pressing tool, mounting board and a picture frame. So I'm happy with that guys. I might open it and have a look and if it's not as good as the one I've already got, I'll sell it on because it'll still be new, it just won't be sealed. Um, but I think I'm likely to keep it. These were 50 pence each. Mrs. Beaton, cakes and baking and British cooking. How old are they? Well, they're not old, they're new, but they are from, where did Mrs. Beaton originate from? 1836, she was born in London. So, she was born into a household of 21 children so yeah everyone's heard of mrs beaton well everyone of a certain age has heard of mrs beaton so all sorts of recipes in there even welsh rabbit <laughs> so yeah love cooking there's so much in here that's the british cooking one and then there's the baking one there's no pictures, but they don't even appear to have been read. The spines are intact. They even look nice without the cover on. Yeah, 50 pence each. I'm going to get my cook on. <laughs> These were... They're from Kirkton House, which I don't know where that is or who that is or who makes Kirkton House. It doesn't say on here. Um, they are three tea towels and they were £2.50. And they're Easter ones, guys. So there's Happy Easter on that one. Then there's a checkered one and one with bunnies on. Now, it doesn't go with my colour scheme, but they're Easter, guys. And Easter is only three weeks away, two weeks away. And, yeah, really like those. I picked up this for £3. 60 gift cards and envelopes in a keepsake box. And they are by... Hellebora, Hellebora, where are they from? I don't know where they're from and they've not got a price or anything on them. But it's this gorgeous little box and inside there are all these cards and envelopes. And there's always an occasion where you need a card. So there's 60 of them, all different, with envelopes, as I said. Are they all? Yeah, they're really pretty, guys. Look at that one. I love that one. What's that called? Snowberry. Yeah, very, very happy with those. And now I've got a couple of clothing bits and then I'm done. So let's just show you the clothing bits. I picked up this lovely denim dress. It's from Simply B and it was £3. It's a denim with pockets on the chest. Is it buttons through? Yeah, it's buttons to the waist. Then it's tiered and it's like a knee length. So there was that one, like a smock style. Then I picked up a pair of chinos, brand new with tags from Next. They were £20 originally 
and I got them for four pounds. Yeah, there's the tags. So they're just a beige, chino, they're stretchy, they've got front slant pockets, they've got back pockets, long leg with roll ups, turn ups. And the last thing, as I said, these weren't all bought today, guys, they've been staggered. These were four pounds. They are from, I thought they were Marxies. No, they're from Stuart Sainsbury's and they're a wide leg jean with a little bit of stretch. So yeah, and five pockets. So that is my charity shop haul, guys. Let me know what you liked the best, what you think your favourite is. Personally, mine is the Formula One and the Holly Hobby um, sewing box. Love those. I mean, I love everything, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But they are my favourites. I haven't tried the clothing on yet. I will do, obviously. I'll give them a wash first. Um, yeah, very happy with that. So I hope this video has made up for the fact that I haven't uploaded in over a week. Um, I'm very, very <coughs> sorry to those of you that commented on my last two videos. I haven't replied to comments even. I'm really sorry. I do read them. I've read all the comments and I will do my very best to go back through and reply to them all. I feel so rude in not replying. I'm trying to grow my channel and I'm not looking after my viewers. So, yeah, please forgive me, guys. I am sorry and I'll get on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a lovely weekend. It's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you mums, grands, um, fair baby mums, pet mums. Happy Mother's Day to you all from me. And I'll see you all next week, guys. Take care of each other. Stay safe and send in lots of love. Bye, guys.